हेलो माय डियर गायनेकोलॉजिस्ट एंड सर्जन्स वेलकम अगेन टू अ केस ऑफ लैप्रोस्कोपिक हिस्ट्रेक्टमी अ मस्ट लर्न सर्जरी व्हाई बिकॉज एन एब्डोमन ऑफ अ फीमेल शुड नेवर बी ओपन्ड फॉर एनी केस ऑफ पेल्विक पैथोलॉजी बीट फाइब्रॉयड बीट डी यू बी बी यू बीट एंडोमेट्रोसिस सो अगेन दैट्स द केस अंडर स्पाइनल एनेसिया फोर्टीन टू सिक्सटीन वीक यूट्रस अ लार्ज यूट्रस ऑफ कोर्स एंड ओनली इप्सलेटल पोर्ट विल बी यूज which is my favorite now you all must be knowing the importance of using ipsilateral ports the surgery is fast no shoulder fatigue and you are not coming in the way of your camera assistant or the camera surgeon the dissection continues using only bipolar shearers and that's the best instrument for a fast track surgery so please learn this surgery join a course and i'll be teaching you how to do it step by step and there lies a surprise in last 2 minutes of this surgery so please watch the video carefully or you can even skip to the end to watch the surprise the desert is at the end <coughs> so the surgery i'm showing it in 2x speed you can always slow it down to, to see the steps i'll not be showing the complete surgery as it took around 45 to 50 minutes i'll be packing up it in 15 minutes she is a uh, 55 year old lady we'll be doing a total laparoscopic hysterectomy with uh, bilateral salpingo ophrectomy but in this case i'll not take the ovaries with the uterus as the dangling ovaries will be a bit difficult to take out so we'll take out the uterus first and reach out for the ovaries and the fallopian tubes in the last so the dissection continues the broad ligament has been uh, divided the back end rods divided and i have gone down there is the marwa's uterine manipulator from below with a medium size cup and the assistant on the uterine side is also very important as i told you we are only use two po- uh, working ports the third port on the opposite side is not required i do not prefer using the uh, retraction port from the opposite side or a mimer screw as generally you see once you are in a habit of using only two ports you will feel so comfortable as every control is in your hands you don't have to depend on the third person to pull push or retract the <coughs> uterus so there i am dissecting around for the uterine bundle the uterine bundle has been cleared and there i am tapping on the cup of the marwa's manipulator and there almost it's out you don't have to bear the uterine artery as it's a bundle in itself the artery the artery is not that important as is as it gets coagulated very easy and there you can see the ureter as the round ligament was pulling it after division of the round ligament the ureter can be seen see look how far away it is from the dissection site so you do not have to worry about the ureters at all the most of the gynecologists fear about the ureter so please do not fear about the ureter say close to the uterus use a marwa's manipulator as it pushes the uh, uh, cervix so nicely that the fornices are there for the dissection a bit of coagulation and this 2 to 3 cm of coagulation towards the uterus avoids the back bleed as this back bleed can cause a bit of mess and after coagulating the arteries i have shifted to the other side i have not yet divided the uterine artery on the left side and there are a bit of adhesions of the omentum as you can see the tubectomy has been done on this patient so a bit of adhesions really doesn't matter and there you can see a large uterus the round ligament is being pulled and always divide what comes first using bipolar shearers the bipolar shear is, is at 25 to 30 watts uh, the bipolar generator behind it is the most important thing please do not use try not to use local made uncalibrated bipolar generators as the energy delivery is very erratic in locally made generators though they may look very easy and cost very less but the chances of vva formation the vesico vaginal fistula and there that's our website you can always go and subscribe it sorry the youtube channel and that's the channel i have lots of videos in it that's the bad appendectomy and bad laparoscopic cholecystectomy that's going on so please come and subscribe the channel and share it now coming back to the surgery there you can see i'm dividing the ovarian ligament bipolar shear it's a very safe surgery a very easy surgery 
and you can see how easily i am going to the opposite side i do not need an right flank port for dissecting this side the ergonomics are very important the shoulder should not get fatigued as uh, 45 to 50 minutes surgery for a large uterus is actually tiring and once you are comfortable with the ipsilateral and two ports working only you will be so comfortable that you will not feel that you have listed a total laparoscopic hysterectomy today and you will be very comfortable there you can see i am dividing it and you can come and join us as an observer to the to learn the art of laparoscopic surgery and as i always say an abdomen of a female should never be opened please do not do a uh, laparotomy on a female for any pelvic pathology everything can be dealt with laparoscopically and deep pelvic surgeries are even better you will not be sweating while removing the uterus and secondly if you are very fast at doing open hysterectomy maybe half an hour a laparoscopic hysterectomy for a dub uterus doesn't take more than 20 minutes and the better part is the patient's recovery is in one day only and in an open surgery the patient will take lots of time and she'll tend to have a bit of pain on and on going and chances of incision and hernia formation are also there so please come with me join me and learn this art of laparoscopic hysterectomy in laparoscopy lancers way look how easy it is you may feel that i make it look easy it is actually easy but the thing is you should learn it step by step you should know what is actually happening and seeing the youtube video only will not help you must come and see how the surgeon or the gynecologist is operating all the pros and cons how the shoulders are working how the camera assistant is working what pressure i have i am keeping there i have dissected the bladder a bit short burst of energy very very short burst of energy should be used else chances of vvf formation are very high so if you are a novice and started uh, laparoscopy lately please avoid using high voltage currents and use a good generator as i told you a good generator behind this hand instrument is very important else you can go ahead and use a ultrasonic scalpel <clears throat> there you can see a bit of charring has happened really doesn't matter as you can see the uterine artery over there that has been coagulated well 0.5 centimeter of it being coagulated is good enough there a bit of heat energy again being applied so as to confirm that it will not bleed in the later period there you can see there's a big hype of separating the bladder it really doesn't matter once you are doing good dissection there you can see the bladder i'm pushing it gently gently back the uterine manipulator is pushing it there you can see that's the bladder a gentle grip on it the grip should be so gentle it's just like a, a tiger holding her uh, cubs in the teeth the sharpest of the teeth holding the baby gently so your instrument should be gently working though they are sharp and hard the grip should be very firm but gentle and very short burst of energies again i repeat the um, energy source behind should be an excellent one please do not try such surgeries with locally made or uncalibrated generators as the chances of vesico vaginal fistula is very high with uncalibrated generators as they tend to uh, give uh, erratic surge of energies sometimes and vvf is actually a problem there you can see a bit of suction the blood loss total blood loss will not be more than 10 ml and while in an open surgery around 50 ml of blood is absorbed by the mops only from the subcutaneous fat and the tissues that come in between leave alone the uterus so both of the uterines has been taken nicely the surgery i'm showing it is in 2x speed so don't feel that it is very fast it's a very steady surgery and this big uterus surgery in and out time takes not more than 45 minutes in trained hands i want you all to be very well trained so please follow and like the videos and see the steps what i am doing there taking the uterine bundle as a whole is very important the uterine bundle has been taken a bit of fogging is a problem you can put this in boiled water that you all obviously know there are some defogging agents that also come uh, not so effective but they also work a bit and there the uterine bundle has been taken down
<coughs> step by step and the field should remain white now the uterus will turn into white color as both the uterines are now taken and i am dissecting in the anterior fornix the marwa's manipulator cup is holding it there you can see the uterus is as white as a rabbit now the colpotomy has been done i prefer to use bipolar shearer only in the cutting mode bipolar shearer in cutting mode i repeat cutting mode in a bipolar shearer to take down the colpotomy do not use a monopolar device over here as monopolar device causes lots of <clears throat> smoke formation and the temperature is also very high and chances of vvf formation is very high with the monopolar device and especially when the vaginal wall is very thick especially in the case of pid and all you can see how easily the bipolar shearer takes it you can even use a ultrasonic scalpel over here so there the section continues the uterine manipulator is very important that's a medium size cup of the marwa's manipulator and that's the huge uterus that's been taken out taken down the assistant in the vaginal end has hold, held the cervix and as the uterus is very big it will not come out of the vagina two options either divide it piecemeal or use a morselator i'll not use a morselator over here as the morselator needs a 12 to 15 mm hole in the left flank port so why increase the morbidity of the patient you can always cut it with scissors as adenomantic uteruses are actually very soft there i'll be taking out a piece of it and pulling it out through the vagina look how big it is that's the endometrial cavity she had severe dub in the postmenopausal period and that's strange that required a surgery the progesterone and the medicines will actually not help and now manipulating the uterus out and the uterus is out you can see the space is not that much because the patient is under spinal anesthesia as it's a very comfortable surgery and post op pain relief is also very excellent only thing is you should uh, be using low pressure pneumoperitoneum we use 8 to 10 mm of mercury pneumoperitoneum for the surgery Uh, generally 14 to 16 pressure is used but please do not go with that high a pressure as your anesthetist will never be comfortable with you if you are using high pressure pneumoperitoneum so the tubes are out now the surgery is started and the surgery is ending there i am using number 1 vicryl to close the vault the corner sutures are important uh, two or three throws in between are all that is required and if you are a beginner please do suturing with number 1 vicryl only do not use barbed sutures as using barbed sutures is very easy but your skills will never improve as if you do not know suturing and handling the sutures you will not be able to do difficult cases so plan for difficult cases and learn suturing with normal number 1 vicryl only these barbed sutures look fancy and are actually very easy to manipulate but in laparoscopy lancers we teach you how to do suturing with number 1 vicryl only they are it's a bit difficult and in this case you can see the gut is quite distended and suturing is a bit difficult as the bladder is coming up so no issues you can always manage it with your skills and the third retraction port normally that the uh, surgeons use we are not using it i am not used to using the attraction port in the contralateral side during the dissection and even while suturing only thing is go step by step and you will excel in your surgery once you can do such things any adhesions or any difficulty in the surgery you will be able to manage so don't go for the desert in your beginning go and have bitter gourd first and that's a bit of bitter gourd difficulty and corner stitch has been taken and learning suturing is very important please go ahead and buy a endo trainer and start suturing but the first thing to learn is not suturing obviously start put a lead in lead pencil inside and hold it and write a b c d or draw straight lines in the endo trainer that's all that is required suturing will automatically come <clears throat> because once you have an hand eye coordination and your brain is working with it 
then only the suturing will happen so the corner sutures have been placed and the surgery is complete <coughs> the blood loss is you must have seen almost nil and the patient rec recovery will be excellent the patient is in 15 degree uh, head down position low pressure pneumoperitoneum at 10 and there you can see and now the ritual of cutting the loop i don't know why we cut the loop as this momentum will never get stuck over here and that's the five millimeter port a bit of wash that's all so thanks for watching the surgery do like subscribe and comment and wait for the end there's a surprise in the end and at laparoscopy lancers we are teaching the art of laparoscopy laparoscopic surgery and that's my number and that's Dr. Shelley Magan, Professor and Head of Department, Obs and Gaini, SS Tantia Medical College, Rajasthan. Madam has uh, asked me to put her video uh, in this as she now knows that an abdomen of a female should never be opened. And that's Madam traveling with me as I do a lot of freelancing. Uh, she was here for around 21 days and now she has learned quite a bit of laparoscopic surgery. There, that's our operation theater at Kullu Himachal Pradesh. She operated at Kullu Himachal Pradesh and first she did an observership around 20 days. Then I gave her hands on and obviously she was excellent at, in it. She being a professor in HOD was like a uh, resident with me. She did the OPDs, worked up the patients and she operated on the patient that she had convinced and worked up. And that's not my patient, that's her OPD patient. And she is doing total laparoscopic hysterectomy on that. Uh, Ma'am was not confident in suturing. But uh, today only she called back that she has started doing endo suturing also. And she has done around 35 cases of total laparoscopic hysterectomy and other laparoscopic procedures. And that's a great achievement for me. And those are the other students that come for observership. And there. So thank you for watching and that's the number given on the right lower corner. That's madam's number and she is willing to answer you all your queries. So please do call her. Madam especially asked me that the students should call her up and she will tell what all laparoscopic lancers is teaching. So thanks for watching the channel and that's my phone number. You can always WhatsApp me and join me as an observer. We are starting short courses and even long courses as an observer and that's how you learn those are the students that are have done observership with me and are all doing well in their respective places one of them is in south africa thank you so much thank you so much guys okay then bye